are the emotions like today? Um, it's kind of like all over the place, you know. Uh, 24 hours ago, we were expecting to be in Miami um, and playing. Um, now we're kind of just running around the facility a little bit, uh, preparing for the off season. So uh, it kind of happened quick. Um, I don't think I even got a chance to really fully process everything yet, um, but it's it's kind of, I don't know, it's just happening very quick. And then obviously um, the, the exit meeting with JB was really, really quick, but what was it that you took from that? Um, I think uh, really just, you know, I, I think all years I've kind of just gained, you know, more and more confidence throughout the year. And I think, um, you know, that meeting, um, their transparency, um, you know, their areas, you know, they, they see me being able to grow um, and their vision for me, I think is pretty similar to mine. So, um, you know, it was a, it, was, it made me feel good. Throughout the day, Kevin, Karras, all the guys have talked about just this being such a special group. Um, and obviously you guys didn't go as far as you wanted to go, but what is it about this group that makes it so special and how important is it for you um, that this group stays together to try and finish what you started? Yeah, I mean, I just think it's just the camaraderie. I mean, uh, the group, you know, everybody wants to see each other win. Uh, everybody wants to see each other succeed. And, you know, that's special, um, you know, kind of when, especially in this profession, I feel like, you know, there's guys who compete, you know, for minutes or want, you know, want to focus on bigger contracts or whatever. And I feel like guys here just, re we're all really focused on, you know, just getting wins and doing whatever it takes to win. That's special. And we really just have fun together, though, really. Like, on the road, you know, we go out to eat together. Um, even when we're home, we spend a lot of time together. So, um, you know, it's only my second year, but I heard that's not what a lot of teams do. <laughs> Kevin Love said that you are um, a pretty high-level performer on the group chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't mind talking to everybody. <laughs> Do you use like gifts and stuff like that, or? I use gifts and pictures. Uh, I'm just active. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Kelsey, go ahead. Kelsey Russo, the Athletic. Hey, Lamar. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Personally, for you, what has the season meant to you? Um, and just being a part of this group, and you know, with with the implication of the junkyard dogs and, and you starting that, like what has this season meant to you? Uh, I mean, I, I thought like this season, uh, it's meant a lot to me. I mean, I've, there's been just so much growth as a team um, and just, you know, from where we were last year to this year and just seeing that growth, you know, it's just something I'm definitely grateful for and don't, you know, take for granted because, you know, that's all you want to do is just be better than you were before. So, um, I think, uh, you know, and then with the junkyard dog, like being able to, to have these guys believe in, you know, just uh, my message, I guess, you know, um, it meant a lot to me because, you know, I'm undrafted, you know, I'm a, mm -hmm. it's only my second year. So uh, for guys to, you know, want to allow me to have that opportunity uh, meant a lot for me, and, um, you know, so I thought it was a really good year. Throughout like the season, I guess, I know obviously it's it just happened, but looking back, like how did you just continue to find your place with this group and and showcase your skill set and the role that JB like put in place for you um, and just kind of like really exceed in that in that space? Yeah, um, I think you know it's just my versatility, uh, being able to play multiple positions, um, and you know just trying to stay ready for you know any any moment. Um, and I think that's allowed me to, you know, learn different positions, learn how to come off the bench, how to start, um, and just trying to embrace whatever role JB had for me. So uh, I think this year was, you know, really good for my confidence and, you know, allowing me to know that I'm ready, you know, that I think that I'm ready. So uh, I'm excited. Thank you. Ashley, go ahead. Ashley Bass .com. Uh Hey, Lamar, Jarrett last night was kind of talking about how everybody processes losses like this and the season ending differently. I, I just wonder for you, like, what's what's your process been like so far over these last like 12 or so hours? And uh, what's the next few days going to be like for you? 
Yeah. Uh, honestly, I, I went out to eat with my parents uh, after the game. We kind of just talked over the season. Um, but honestly, I still haven't processed everything yet. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't have any plans right now. So um, kind of just, I don't know. I'm kind of just going with the flow right now. <laughs> and Kevin brought up, you know, that he's already – brought up to you guys it sounded like of doing something like before the training camp would start like in the off season all getting together uh, I know like you said it's only your second year but like how important do you think that is and why do you think this group is so willing to to do things like that uh I think because we all see the vision I think we all believe in you know uh, JB and then our teammate so we know how important it is uh for us to continue to build that chemistry um and I think we learned a lot throughout the year and we know, you know, it's going to take a little bit more from from us, from all of us, you know, to take that next step, you know, even bigger step after this year. So um, I think, you know, you know, K-Love, uh, he knows that. Um, and he's I think that's something that we're just all bought into. Thank you. Christos, go ahead. Hey, Lamar, you saw this guy's DNA, Greece, hope you're doing well. During the season, was any specific moment that uh, stands out to you and to represent the, the Cavaliers basketball from your perspective? You said what moment? Yeah. Um, that's, hard to, uh, that's hard to put one thing on it, uh, like one specific moment. But I just think uh, throughout the year, you know, dealing with injuries and just how we've always responded. Um, you know, with guys going down, different lineups, guys having to play different positions, you know, Darius having to step up and have the year that he had and Jared having to step up. Um, I think that just goes into, you know, how deep this team is and, you know, what we stand for and just all, everybody being ready and everybody being built in that, into that mentality. Because you, you could tell, like, for most of the year, um, no matter who was playing, we played the same style of basketball and had that identity. So that means, you know, we have a group uh, that's completely bought into the identity of the team and identity of the coach. So I would just say that. And also, after the, the frustration of last night's game, you, how can you use it as a fuel or a motivation for the next season? Um, it's definitely going to be used as motivation. Um, I think, you know, we've learned a lot throughout the year that, you know, that's going to prepare us to be better for the future. Um, but, yeah, last night hurt. So, um it's definitely going to be um, something we don't forget about and, you know, something we prepare ourselves for to be even better when we get our next opportunity next year. Thank you very much. Have a good Spencer. Uh, oh. Oh, go ahead, Evan. That's fine. Oh, go ahead, Evan. Sorry. Evan, Evan Damerell, Facebook News. Lamar, you mentioned that you and the organization have a mutual vision on – where you can go as a player. Can you give us a little bit of insight of what you're going to be working on this off season and maybe what you're going to bring to the table next year? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, for me, it's just continuing to grow my offensive game and um, really become more of a wing, um, a consistent wing uh, for this team. But knowing that I can play multiple positions, but I think, you know, for me to, uh, for my role in this team, I have to, you know, really become a wing and just work on the offensive side of the ball, coming off pick and rolls, uh, maybe hand uh, coming off handoffs, DHOs and stuff like that. And I know last night's loss is disappointing and this is not how you guys wanted this season to end, but in the grand scheme of things, do you think personally that you and the rest of your teammates showed the NBA that the Cavs are back and that you guys belong in the upper echelon of the NBA? Um, I definitely think that we showed that. Um, you know, with with everything that we dealt with this year, um, to still be in the, uh, the position that we have and show the improvement that we did from last year, I think it definitely has shown that. And, you know, you saw, you know, what we did when we were all together, um, to some of the top teams in the league. So uh, I think, you know, it's only been a confidence builder for us. And, you know, and I feel like we're able to learn a lot, which will help us be even better for next year, so I definitely think so. Thank you. Spencer, last one. Spencer Davies, basketballnews.com. Hey, Lamar, uh, you know, obviously your rookie year, you guys didn't play with a lot of leads. This year, that changed. Um, did you guys learn anything about 
being ahead and the way that you have to kind of perform and, and execute when you do have those advantages? Um, yeah, I definitely think so. I mean, I think that's um, that was definitely a part of the learning curve for us as a team. Um, for, I mean, for guys, for most of the guys that have been here, I, I mean, we've kind of struggled the past couple seasons. So, um, you know, it was all new for us and it was something that we were able to learn and grow from. So I think it was definitely those um, those learning lessons will definitely help us be better.